So once the shafts are finished being built up, you want to, um, the last thing you need to do is put them in the, the case and seal up the case. However, before you, need to, uh, before you can do that, there's a couple things you need to do. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to prep the surfaces of the uh, sealing faces so that they are as clean as possible. I use a combination of a razor blade and a scotch bright pad, and then lastly, acetone to get the faces as clean as possible. Same with the mating face. That includes all of these surfaces um, because you do have to put sealant on those as well. Also, um, if you have for any reason taken the reverse out, you just want to make sure it goes back in correctly. The 5mm washer goes on the inside and the 3mm washer goes on the case side and then this roll pin goes in and the slider goes on that side. So, um, so but um, one thing that I like to do is um, actually apply Loctite 609 or 648. 609 is my favorite, um, but it's for loose and press fit, um, cylindrical uh, f um, mating components. So um, <clears throat> it's really made for bearings on shafts and bearings in housings. And so um, it's, this is a really good idea just because throughout the life of your transmission, depending on how tight your case seals, uh, you could have a bearing spin in there. And it, and it really wouldn't be a good situation. I mean, you can actually see a little bit of of where in here um, where that's that kind of thing is happening so that's what we're trying to avoid so um, in order to do that you have to take both um, both shafts out and and by the way before you get to this point you do want to clean this shaft out just make or case out make sure there's no debris or anything in here um, I've done that I used a <clears throat> a blow um, a blow nozzle on the end of a, an air compressor um, to do that so Let's see, I need two. So, um, so before I put the Loctite on, I want these surfaces as clean as possible. You really don't want any oil or residue on the mating surfaces. So, because if you do, um, this Loctite does have the ability somewhat to uh, bridge or cut through grime and grease, but um, it's you know having that does reduce its ability to adhere so so as such as much as possible you want to get those surfaces clean so so acetone I think is better than alcohol because it it flashes off without any kind of residue so Pretty much want to get as much oil off as you possibly can so that you have no bearings spinning in the case. Once you've done that, like I said, Loctite 609, this is the one that I recommend. Um, you just put a tiny bit on these faces. It, uh, it will not take much at all. And then put, put the shaft back in. Make sure that your nose seal and your bearings are all lined up. there and then same thing with the output shaft and you'll have to do this on the uh, the other half of the case too when you get to it Do be careful, obviously acetone isn't the best for your skin, so we'll really dry it out and you know. Okay. 
that. Grab that before that falls. And then one last time through here just to make sure that it's nice and clean. Just a thin line is all you need because this is a really uh, tight space and it's going to expand anyway. There's no reason to use a crazy copious amount because even a little bit is plenty. So, and then go ahead and clean them because uh, when you put the other half on, you're going to have to have them ready anyway. So, put that back on now. So, the last thing is uh, once you've got your clay case completely clean, is to do your last cleaning of the mating flange here. And then you're going to install a Permatex anaerobic gasket maker on the flanges. And that's what you seal. There's no gasket on the case halves. There is a gasket on the fifth gear and the bell housing side. There's some dis debate as to whether or not those gaskets are needed. Um, I think that because uh, those two, the mating um, of those two surfaces is kind of dependent on how well you mate these. Um, that gasket's there to kind of take up any extra little bit of slack that you may have, but that's just me, so. So, um, this is essentially how you're going to go through and do this, so. Oh, this has to open two. like That's a little much right there, I think. Okay, anything that doesn't look even, I'm going to add just a little bit more in between these actually, just, just to be sure. But. You want to get around a good seal around all the holes because if you don't, there's a possibility that you could always leak through one of the holes, which you don't want. Which is also the same reason why it's necessary uh, to seal these surfaces in here, uh, just to be sure, because you don't want to leak out those holes.
Okay. So. So, you don't have to do both faces, that would be excessive. Um, both halves, I mean. This is uh, an old bell housing that's to get that removed. However, you do need to prep this surface by putting a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit around here. There. And then, like before, before we put the two halves together, uh, we need to put the green Loctite into the bearing races, and I want to make sure that these are totally clean. Same with these. this to leak so there are a couple places that I just still want to go back and touch up. I haven't had a transmission leak yet but certainly now is not the time to start. I mean this is an incredibly close fit obviously once it's together. When you if you ever split it back apart you'll notice that the film is so thin. <coughs> so um, and lastly, we've got this little strip in here. Okay. Put a strip on the other one on both sides here. And a stripe here. And a stripe here. So. Now the tricky part here is that you do have to get the reverse gear lined up uh, so that it will go together. So, uh, but it's not that tricky. Look for your essentially your dowel pins to help line you up and. Reverse is working, that's good. And that's it, the case. Oh, nope, there it is. The case is together, so now you want to. Um, I'm, I'm actually. I'm going to go ahead and put these three screws in lightly just so that I don't lose them. But um, at this point, you need to start installing your um, case screws, the ones that go all the way around and through the middle. Um, and you have to do that in the right order.